Designed specifically for pickleball, these Viper Cord Elites feature a mesh upper with screen print overlay and the patented Skechers ArchFit insole for support on court. These shoes also feature comfortable Eco Flight cushioning and a grippy Goodyear rubber performance outsole for traction on the court. Finally, the shoes come equipped with the heel pillow technology to hold your feet in place. This was my first time wearing a pickleball specific shoe and as soon as I slipped my feet into these Skechers, I really noticed the cushioned feel underfoot. They felt really soft and I also liked the way that the uh, insole was molding to the arch of my feet. I have flatter feet, however, I always felt supported and comfortable up there. One thing is I do have wider feet and these shoes do have a medium width so they did feel a little bit snug in the toe box, but they didn't squeeze my feet uncomfortably. Uh, in the heel, I was very comfortable. I liked uh, the cushioned feel there. I did find that I needed to tie the extra eyelet to get uh, additional support around the ankle because I was having some heel slippage initially. However, once I had that tied up, I felt nice and secure. I did find that the shoes were on the grippier side, which wasn't a problem for me. Uh, I really liked that the shoes did hold my feet in place too. As soon as I came to a stop, I wasn't sliding within these shoes. As far as durability, I'm seeing little to no wear on the outsoles of these and I've been playing on uh, in them in, on a hard court surface. Overall, I did find these to be very comfortable, uh, good support and stability. I did need to use that uh, extra eyelet, but after I was cinched up, I really enjoyed the comfort and overall performance of these Skechers. This is my first time on court playing in a pair of Skechers, and I gotta say, these shoes are really comfortable. I felt like the underfoot cushioning was very well padded and the uppers were really supple as well and they flex really well. Uh, now, performance on court, um, I played both singles and doubles in these and I have to say I prefer doubles in these. Uh, I thought the support and stability was fairly good, um, but in doubles where you don't move laterally as much is kind of where I preferred it. When I started playing singles in them, I noticed that the shoe was flexing just a little bit more than I would have liked. Um, and I thought the traction was very grippy. Um, I actually would have preferred a, probably a little bit less traction so I can kind of slide out of my shots a little bit. But for those that really want a lot of grip, uh, these shoes will provide that. The other thing I really liked about these shoes is the hands-free slip-in technology. I thought it was kind of gimmicky, but I actually really ended up liking it a lot and utilized it uh, throughout the playtest. Uh, so overall, I thought these shoes were really comfortable, and if you're gonna be on court for multiple hours a day, then you should definitely check these out. I previously play tested the Viper Court Pro, so I was really excited to see what Skechers would do with this update. And right away, as soon as I slipped my feet in these shoes, the first thing I noticed was the underfoot cushioning. It is super plush from heel all the way to toe. I also liked the cushioning around the ankle as well as the tongue. Now, as far as fit concern, I have a narrow width foot and I really liked the toe box. I felt like I had the perfect amount of space. And then when it came to midfoot and back to heel, I had just maybe a little bit extra space. So I really need to make sure I was cinching my laces tight. And then my favorite feature, which was on the previous Viper Court Pros that I'm so glad they continued in this Viper Court Elite is the arch fit technology. It, I didn't think I needed arch support and this really just perfectly supported my arches and was a very comfortable ride. Now, when it came to starting to move around on the court, after about 30 minutes, I stopped and I ended up using the last eyelet just to get a little bit more locked in feel. I think one of the um, updates that Skechers did that I really liked was I thought they improved the side to side stability. I felt a little bit more secure than the previous version. However, I was still getting a little bit movement when I was moving forwards and backwards, couldn't quite get 100% locked in. Now, when it came to traction, I found these shoes to offer a little bit of a stickier response. Now, I personally like a little bit of give, but when I was moving around, you definitely felt like the shoes were gripping the court. Overall, players looking for comfortable, high-performing shoes should check out the Viper Court Elites. Had a lot of fun testing these Skechers shoes. They're super comfortable and really easy to get on. You can just slip your foot in thanks to the heel technology there. And I really enjoyed the arch support in these shoes too, both when I was playing on the court and just walking around to and from the court and wear them casually after I'd had a hit. Um, they just felt super comfortable and really supporting my arches. I love the cushioning in these Viper Court Elites and I uh, felt just a little elevated more than I would in most shoes, but that 
Trade-off was then just really plush cushioning underfoot. So again, comfortable both on and off the court. Right there, I thought the shoes flexed nicely up by my toes, so I was able to move very well in them. I play mostly doubles and I found that they held my feet in pretty well. I did get a little bit of heel slip and I utilized the last eyelet on the lace system to try and help lock my feet in. But I think because of that easy entry into the shoe, that technology does. Uh, make it a little stiff in the heel and so it wasn't quite as locked in as I am in some other shoes but for playing doubles uh, I had plenty of support shoes are lasting me well too so uh, yeah two thumbs up from me that's all we got for this one for more information on this sketches shoe or anything else pickleball related be sure to head to totalpickleball.com <laughs>